First of all, I got to say congratulations for winning a spot on the Olympic air gun team. I got to ask you though, has it really sunk in yet? Because I know this has been a goal for years of yours for many years. Um, it didn't sink on sink in initially when I uh, got off the line. Uh, I think it was right after we went through uh, doping control. I got back and I turned around and I finally saw my mom's face and it just it definitely hit me like a ton of bricks. Like, dude, you made it. You're you're going. <laughs> When you look back, though, at the competition in Camp Perry, was there a point where you knew you were in, or, or was it a tough fight right down to the finish? Um, it, was, it was definitely was a tough fight. It's, it's probably one of the hardest matches I've ever shot in my life. Uh, I, I never uh, looked at it as, you know, you're in or you're, you're golden or anything like that, but mm -hmm. uh, it was definitely a... A, a major fight and digging deep the whole time. Yeah, I, you're from a family of shooters. You got several brothers that shoot too, don't you? Yes, I do. There's four of us total. There's uh, my oldest brother shoots pistol now. He used to shoot rifle. Uh, the second one was uh, Joseph. He uh, he shoots for the Army Marksmanship Unit, uh, wow. and he's aiming for going uh, to London in uh, small bore. It's a different gun, um, and then. There's me, who shoots air rifle, and my youngest brother, he shoots pistol. He shoots air pistol, just like uh, my oldest brother, James. So, actually, there could be two of you over there from the same family shooting at the Olympics. That's the main goal. I'd, I'd love to have my brother over there with me and not to, not be the only one representing the whole clan. <laughs> yeah, what did he say, though, when he found out you were on the team? Um, he actually uh, was in the middle of training in Florida, but uh, apparently, I didn't know, but apparently he uh, had opted out of one of their training sessions to go find a spot that had internet so he could watch the, the finals live. Wow. And, uh, yeah, once I, once I finished that last shot, I, my phone was just blowing up from him, sending me texts and trying to get a hold of me saying congratulations. So, oh, that's great. Cool. You know, every time we've been at Cam Perry shooting an event, uh, you know, the winds always kick up and the dirt starts flowing and the shooters just don't like it. Did you have any problems or surprises like that when you were there? Um, no, not really. Uh, my sport is indoors. So it's, uh, oh, that's it's right. Okay, air rifle, right. Yeah. Yep. So the only issue I had was when I got there, is it's a little bit darker than I'm used to for training uh, as far as lighting conditions, but it was equal across, across the range, so it's not like... It's yeah. going to hit you and, you know, be an issue. Yeah. But, uh, no, there wasn't, uh, conditions were great, uh, other than the outside conditions being cold. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not used to that coming from Georgia, but, uh, yeah, it was, it was a nice match. How do you juggle your major in business management at Columbus State University and all you're doing <laughs> to get there to London? Um, I'm actually double majoring. I have two majors and a minor that <laughs> I'm working on. And I work full time for a company called Airmark. So, <laughs> I, as far as time, I don't even know what it is. I'm just always <laughs> running nonstop. Yeah, I was gonna say, do you ever sleep? Uh, it doesn't feel like it. <laughs> yeah. What do you say to other kids, young shooters, about their goals, keeping them in sight? You know, even you know, no matter what they want to do, what do you tell them? Well, to be honest with you, uh, just do what you love. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's if you enjoy what you're doing, you'll be good at it. Mm -hmm. um, but do what you love. Keep your keep goals in sight. You know, goals are just dreams with a time limit. Uh, always, always aim for that little more push. You know, it's not, hey, you know, I want to go to Junior Olympics. Then once you get there, just kind of plateau out. Always push. Keep pushing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, always have goals and just keep at it. So the next couple of months, what do you got? Uh, just heavy duty training? Is that what it's all about until you get over to uh, to England? Um, actually. I had a meeting with my coach right after they had announced the nominees for going. And uh, he told me that I am required to put down my gun for two weeks and not touch it. Hmm. Just so that this kind of sinks in and settles. But, I mean, it's only been, what, two days? And I'm already getting the itch wanting to shoot some more. <laughs> <laughs> so this, this two weeks is going to be a little rough. But, uh uh, I'm planning on going back to uh, the CMP range, CMP South and Anniston, which is technically my home range, even though I live in Columbus. And uh, I'll be training there with my brother and my, my mother, uh, who are, you know, my mom's more of my emotional support coach, mm -hmm. and my brother is more of my technical advisor because he's, he's shot before. And uh, I'm going to be hitting the grind training 
much as I can.